Hello, Gemini, Gem Gem Gummy Bears, Gem Gem, how are you? Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So, Gem Gem, I always feel like I have gummy bears. Um, what's going on, man? I'm going to do a reading for you. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what the topic is, although it's really interesting because in the pre-shuffle, you had a card come out, um, and... I have a song that channeled in. Literally, I turned the camera on. I walked around to the table. I sat down like the song came right in. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Just a whole bunch of things. So I don't know what that means. There you go. That song is coming into you. It's actually, it's an interesting song. Like there's a whole bunch of different um I kind of feel like themes and the lyrics of that, but you can go and check that out. That is an oldie. I'm an oldie. <laughs> so that tends to be what comes in for me. Um, yeah, so the card that came out during your pre-shuffle was yin and yang. So that's a really nice balance. Actually, even as I'm looking at your card, it could kind of describe you like a dual, these dual energies, yin and yang. Passive, movable. I don't know. Yeah, yin and yang. So that's what we had coming in. I'm going to use my energy oracle deck. And um, I'm going to shuffle it like on camera here just to see what comes out, what the topic is, what the universe, what your spirit guides want to talk to you about. Then once we know what that is, I'm going to pick the appropriate tarot deck to do a reading for y'all. Oh, you have happy family. Second chakra, first chakra at the bottom once I completed the pre-shuffle. So, uh, intimate places, grounding this with your family, with your loved ones, with your homies, whatever that could be for you. Let's see, Gemini, Gem, Gem, what does the universe want to talk to Gemini about? What will be the topic of discussion for the Gemini reading? Abundance, abundance, and bring forth more abundance. So you have cornucopia. Yeah, that's abundance, baby. I'm very sing-songy in your reading. <laughs> action. Okay, action towards your abundance. So your cornucopia. To your, like, uh, your win. Because that's just, like, everything, right? Like, everything you could need for sustenance, um, growth, health. All right, then. So what is the action you need to take? Let's look at this abundance to start with. What would be... Mm, which is the... No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I was thinking of the deck of, that had the Queen of Holy Shit. It's the Queen of Pentacles, and she's holding them. A cornucopia that's just spilling forth. It's a huge one. No, I don't want that deck. It's not doing anything for me. This is the part where you have to kind of like you know, persevere. I, you know, I'm being drawn to the, um, the Lightseer's Tarot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with the Lightseer's Tarot. I got to give it a few shuffles here. <clears throat> I like to pre-shuffle it in your energy. What is this cornucopia? What is this abundance that the universe wants to talk to you about? What is this abundance? What is it all about? Well, it's about how you bring it in. Because you can't bring it in with that energy. I <laughs> know. The four of pentacles. So I feel like I'm just hearing like closing off avenues. That's interesting. So if you close off particular avenues, you may actually be able to get into cornucopia because then you're sort of almost like you're funneling things in. On the surface, you would just, I don't know, as a tarot reader, the four pentacles is usually like confined. You're not sharing your energy. You're not growing and expanding. You're holding on to stuff. I am getting like a, just more like a psychic message here for you of um, save your money. I'm hearing that. Save your money. You have an abundance coming through, but I'm like, and, and this abundance I feel like is kind of connected to some sort of wishes or dreams or a wish or a dream come true. 
something that perhaps you have been saving for it's it's odd it's almost like a message about i don't know how this would play out but i guess it's possible in some way there's something that you're saving for is something that you want to do i don't know if you want to take a trip you want to buy a house you want to own a cottage i don't know what you want to do um but it feels like there's something and i think you have been kind of like saving your money you're being directed to do that now and if it feels like that there's anything that's kind of out of your reach it won't be in the future. That's sort of like this whole message that's coming in for me with these cards. Um, I don't know if there's something that you want that is going to be less expensive down the road. Seems like kind of a funny thing because it just seems like everything is getting more expensive right now. But that's what I'm hearing. Let's keep going. The Tower. Hang on tight. I'm hearing like, hang on tight. Hang on tight. The tower is coming in. Hang on tight. Hang on tight. And this little squirrely guy, right? He's saving his little nuts and stuff under this mound of soil, getting hit by lightning. Hang on tight. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Devil. Gosh, it's such a curious reading. It feels so specific. Hang on. I'm literally getting a message like, okay. Um, someone having like a hard luck story around you. And I don't know if it's just like, this could come in in a couple different ways. I'm seeing different things play out in my mind's eye. One of the things that I'm seeing is almost like a sales person coming to your door and um, wanting to sell you something or wanting you to subscribe to something monthly or be very cautious of this. You are really being told to be very cautious of your money. It could be because of a bit of like, I would call maybe a windfall coming in for you. It does feel like something that would pull on your heartstrings. Cause you, I'm pretty sure you guys can see the table here where you got your four of pentacles, then the tower comes in. This five of pentacles and the ace of cups. This is the energy that kind of feels like, you know, kind of pulls on your heartstrings. Like it either, it, a combination of pulls on your heartstrings or um, it try to initiate it. Cause I don't know if it's someone you already know, if it's someone coming to your door. It's a really interesting reading. I'm getting, I just feel like so many little psychic blips in this for you to be cautious of with your money. Um, or it's someone wanting to like initiate something with you. You know, this will this will feel so good to do this, won't it? Wouldn't that feel great to be able to do this together? Or that, I don't, but then the devil comes in, right? Like this is not a good offer. <laughs> Whatever this is, this is not a good offer. You hang on to whatever you have here. This is not a good offer. I don't know if you're negotiating something in business as well, possibly, or with work, like a work contract. If you're gonna wanna buy a new car, like maybe you've, you have some extra money. Be cautious here, Gemini. I really, I'm getting that so strongly. King of Wands, Six of Wands, Page of Cups, the Moon, the Ten of Swords, the Emperor, oh my God, King of Swords goes on and on. It almost feels like, yeah, this is exciting, isn't it? And this King of Wands energy, I just, I don't trust anything because of what's sitting here. Something's not right. It could be like some sort of even like a peace offering, an uh, olive branch, uh, someone you haven't heard from in a while. And then the moon, like there's a lot of hidden things here and they're ten of swords. This, this could go in a bad direction. The emperor and the king of swords comes in after that.
in some level it feels like somebody holding some sort of leverage or position of power I'm trying to utilize that or I don't know. I, it's general reading it just feels like it's just take the message to be cautious of offers coming in if you're selling your house if you're negotiating a business contract if a salesperson is coming to your door right now you be very cautious. I'm going to tell you that, Gemini. Ace of Wands. Look at this. The High Priestess. How intriguing. Look at this. It's like you get an idea and then you know. You know. Your intuition is going to tell you something about right here. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. It's a defensive posture. Ace of Cups, the Strength card. The Devil, the King of Pentacles. It's almost like, you know how my intuition is going off here in your reading for you? It's kind of like, and that's how I would describe this, like your intuition goes off here. And then almost something becomes immediately obvious, like just the, um, the high priestess. I want to say that because it's like she's getting a download. But I also want to advise you to be cautious. Because just looking at the cards on the surface as tarot, the high priestess could also mean that you don't know everything here right, with a tower. You don't know everything, but perhaps you will. And that could be what the tower moment is. I just feel like somebody wants something from you. That is the best way I would describe it. Somebody wants something from you that is not a benefit to you. This person is kind of sitting pretty with the King of Pentacles. The Two of Cups, such an unusual reading. What's the action you're being guided to take here? What is the action? Besides, I feel like kind of hanging tight to what, what's the action that Gemini is being guided to take? Four of Cups. Don't take all the offers. Come in, honey. I don't know, too. I'm picturing someone who might be trying to sell their house or sell something, too, right? Like, and you're not getting the right offer. Somebody has more money with the King of Pentacles. They have more money to, to, to legitimately offer. I don't know. The action. This is so curious. The Magician. Not everything is as it seems. The Seven of Wands, the Moon, the Ten of Swords again. Not everything is as it seems. Be aware. <laughs> Just be very aware. Be alert. The world needs more wares and more alerts. So be one. We need to clarify. <laughs> trouble four pentacles and the ace of wands Ooh, look at this the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles again that's something to do with money job house something in the three dimension here moving slowly a slow moving offer. The tower and the high priestess. Page of Pentacles. Four of Cups, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles. There's the Four of Cups again, right? The action. 
But you see, the Three of Swords is kind of bringing back that idea. It's almost like something that's designed or someone tries to pull on your heartstrings. Like a hard luck story? You know, I want to say you could also be dealing with someone that you lent money to. And this person is going like... I don't have it now. I just don't have the money. But this like a handout, right? Like a handout. But then underneath it, though, is the King of Pentacles. This person does not want for money. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I always say, if you're going to lend money to someone, lend it with the intention that you'll never see it again. I really honestly think it's the best way to do it. If they pay it back, that's great. If they don't, right? It depends on what you want to happen with the friendship or the relationship or whoever it is. The King of Swords with the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. There could be some sort of letter of the law here that could be involved with this as well. I do feel like, like, because he is pointing to like a book, to something written. So I don't know if you agreed to something and then somebody's kind of going back on um, an agreement. Like, you know, if you signed a work contract or something like that and you were supposed to get paid this much per year with this much of an increase or whatever per year and then somebody wants to go back on that like this is a really curious reading ace of cups the strength card all right wants to come out six of swords nine of swords and the hierophant It kind of has the feeling of, like, you know, being taken on a path here to deal with something that you'd rather not. With the Nine of Swords and the Hierophant, there's almost like a sense of obligation here of needing to deal with something. The Devil and the King of Pentacles. Let's look at this. The Queen of Pentacles, man, you could be dealing with the star. The Two of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the star. I mean, because these are both counterparts now in terms of dealing with the devil. This could be like your your partner. This could be someone connected to your partner. This could be um, like your sibling. <laughs> There's a lot of things this could be. And... With the two of swords and the star on either side, it's kind of like, like, how do you resolve this? How do you heal it? How do you make it better between these two energies? Part of me is feeling like this is something coming up a bit from the past. There's a bit of that energy coming in after I've got all the cards down like that. That perhaps you've lent someone money and they haven't paid you back, but they they seem to be living the high life here. I mean, that could be it too. With cornucopia. Let's look at this cornucopia. Cornucopia. Seven of cups and seven of wands. So it could be you trying to find your cornucopia, but there's something blocking it. Somebody's blocking it. Someone's about to try to block it. This isn't like the kind of reading that I know most people want to hear. Like, I want to hear about the, all the good. But you know what? This is an important reading. Because this is just like a heads up that you need to be aware. And I honestly feel like, in terms of advice for you, don't take the first offer that comes in, honey. <laughs> whatever that is. And whatever that could be. Obviously, though, too, I mean, it's up to you like what this is about how much money could be involved and who it could be with i mean if it's somebody that you're really close with like a sibling or something like that and you would really you know what two thousand bucks is just not worth wrecking our relationship 
I just know where I stand with this person when it comes to money, right? Like, it, you, you just look at it like a lesson learned. Um, or if this is like someone that's always just like, you know what, this is it. <laughs> so I'm really done with this. So I don't know what it could be for you. You have to make your own kind of choices here, but you are being cautioned about what's being offered to you. There likely is something better coming is how I would say that like these because these all these bulls kind of to me almost represent the previous offers and they're empty but this one here has got freaking rainbow <laughs> shooting out of it it's got rainbow shooting out of it someone might want to see how they can get your cornucopia too with the seven of cups and seven of wands that feels like keep it hidden keep it protected We end with the Ace of Wands, and that's the card that comes in under the Four of Pentacles. If this is your Eureka moment, take it, <laughs> because that's where it all starts, right here. Hang on tight. Don't be sharing shit with nobody right now. And if you've already lent money to someone in the past, and they're not particularly good at paying it back, it's, they might be coming around again need a little bit more. <laughs> handout but I don't think they do you know I've had a few friends that have had that with family members a couple where they've borrowed like quite a bit of money and then not paid it back but then they start taking trips and stuff <laughs> what's going on like you owe me three thousand dollars but you just took a a four thousand dollar vacation <laughs> I don't know, Gemini, this is very interesting. So, I'm gonna go do the extended. I'm getting a total blank on that, really, a total blank, because we've already got advice in this. We're gonna see where things unfold. I'm just gonna pull cards in the extended and see where that goes for you. Oh my goodness, Gem Gems, keep your hands in your pockets. <laughs> Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.